Diablo 2 lore, Lilith was able to successfully resurrect Diablo and the Prime Evils. This is her untold story in the universe of Sanctuary. Lilith is believed to be the queen of the succubus and matriarch of the demons. Legions of the succubus and her daughter and Dariel were killed by the heroes that defended the world stone. After these events, she decided to take a personal involvement. She masterminded the resurrection of Diablo by manifesting herself in the mortal realm and performing a dark ritual. This ritual was said to be completely impossible by the most powerful mortal wizards. However, it truly allowed Lilith to link with Diablo across realms to give him strength until he could reincarnate in the mortal realm. In the eyes of Diablo were rage and a deep yearning for revenge. This ritual allowed for Diablo to reach his maximum strength. Together, he and Lilith performed another resurrection of the two remaining prime evils, Baal and Mephisto along with Duriel and Iswal, which were two of their strongest agents. Diablo announced his grand plans for the Pandemonium event, where he and his brothers spread hate and rage in the realm of Uber Tristram, while the others have operations in their own hidden realms. Lilith could have easily planned an assault on her own, but she was left severely weakened by the dark summoning ritual, and then she agreed to aid the primevals and command some of the remaining forces. All of these events took place in Diablo 2's patch version 1.11 on August 13th, 2005. The Pandemonium event is a multi-stage endgame bonus quest known to players as Uber Tristram that has the player battle against extremely strong versions of the endgame bosses. The player must search for three different keys found in Hell Difficulty. They are known as the Keys of Terror, Hate, and Destruction. Each of these keys has a chance to drop from the Countess in Act 1, the Summoner in Act 2, and Neolithak in Act 5. Once the keys are found, you can transmute them in the Herodric Cube for a chance to open the realms where you can find Lilith, Duriel, and Iswal. Once defeated, they drop the organs of the Prime Evils that can be transmuted in the Herodric Cube as well. That then opens a super boss event in Tristram where you battle against all three prime evils at the same time. Each boss in the Pandemonium events are very strong compared to the standard Hell difficulty fights. Each boss is level 110 with over 600,000 hit points. Lilith has the same in-game appearance as her daughter Andariel. Lilith has extremely deadly poison attacks and she moves twice as fast as a normal monster. Each melee attack also deals poison damage as well as physical damage. Her poison spray skill also has a constant effect. Since the Pandemonium event is exclusively on Battle.net, it is unclear if Blizzard actually applies this to the official lore in the Diablo universe. We know Lilith can perform these rituals across realms. It is possible that she will summon the Prime Evils in Diablo 4. This story about Lilith was released exactly one week after Blizzard North was shut down, so it is possible that the majority of Diablo 4's story were actually ideas from Blizzard North's version of Diablo 3, because during the development of the Pandemonium event, Blizzard North was working on Diablo 3 as well. There's the untold story of Lilith resurrecting Diablo and the Prime Evils. If you guys want to keep up with Diablo content, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.